Hey guys, this is Emily from Emily's Anthology and I am finally back with another video. I am so sorry about not getting a video out in time for New Year's. I have guests here and um, it's been really busy so I hope you guys will like this video. This is a Shimina inspired look. Um, I had this look requested by one of my readers, hello. and. Um, this was based on her Giordano ads that she did and it's just kind of my interpretation of the look. It is a little bit darker maybe than what she wore in the videos just because I really like my dark smoky eyes. It is really simple to do and um, I hope you guys enjoy watching. Okay, so I have already done my base, already done my brows. The base product that I used is my absolute favorite foundation at the moment. This is the Chanel Lift Lumiere and uh, I am using the color number 20. And for my brows, I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express Kit, and this is the color Brunette. Now for the eyes, I am using a product that is brand new to me. I have never used their eyeshadows before. This is the Body Shop Eye Palette, and this is in the color Smoky Copper. It actually comes in a really cool box like this, and it comes with two brushes, which I think is so convenient, especially when you want to travel. Um, I'm just going to be using my brushes for this because I want a more precise kind of look. So this is what the palette looks like and I'm going to be using this lightest color over here and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. And I'm taking this all the way up to the brow. Now I want a slightly more golden base color on the bottom lash line and I'm going to go in with my Prestige Total Intensity Eyeshadow and this is in the color Spellbound. And this is just what it looks like in the pan and I am just going to run it onto my lower lash line taking it pretty far down. Right, so now I'm going to go in with this color in the palette. This is the darkest brown color and I'm just going to pick it up on my brush and apply it to the outer corners of my eyes. I want this look to be pretty winged, so I'm just going to trace the outer wing. And then I'm just going to softly fill in the color in a sort of triangular shape all the way onto my lower lash line, sorry, the inner corners of my eyes onto the lash line. Now the shape of the eye is a little bit rounded on the outer corners, so I'm just going to add a little bit of eyeshadow only to the outer corners. I'm also going to take some of that just a tiny bit of the way in onto the lower lash line. Then I want to blend the colors out just with a clean blending brush. Next, I'm going to go in with a teeny, tiny, tiny bit of eyeliner. I am using the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Coal Kajal, and this is in the color black. First things first, I want to put a nice clean line of liner just on the inner lash line. So I am going to pull on my lids a tiny bit and just line the inner waterline. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom lash line, but I'm just going to dot the liner along because I don't want too harsh a line. So just tiny, tiny, tiny dots on the inner waterline, just so there's a bit of definition but not too much. And then I'm just going to smudge that line out very lightly. Now once you've done that, you want to put a little bit of liner on your lash line as well. And again, just so it's not too harsh, you want to just dot it along the lash line. And once you've done your lines, what you want to do is just grab a brush and smudge those lines and blend them upwards into the eyeshadow. And then just to make sure that everything is nicely smoothed in together, I'm just going to go back in with the exact same color in the palette, the dark brown color and I'm going to apply it on top of the black liner. Next, I'm going in with a contour. You know my favorite contour is the Sleek Contour Kit, and this is in the color Medium. Now, instead of running the contour all the way through the crease the way I usually do, this is only going to go in the outer half of the eye, 
and then I'm going to blend it in in circular motions just above the dark brown eyeshadow. Now using the exact same sleek contour kit, I'm going to do a tiny bit of contouring, starting from the very beginning of your brows, take it all the way down the bridge of your nose, and then just in a little V here, and of course the exact same thing on the other side. Just curling my eyelashes now, and then applying my Majolica Mallorca Mascara. And now I'm going to apply some false eyelashes and I will be right back. Alright, so I've just applied some natural looking false eyelashes and now I'm going into the concealing under the eyes. I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and the color I'm using is Ivory. Just going to lightly conceal underneath the eyes and I'm going to use the concealer and the brush that I'm using to kind of create this cat eye. So now with the same sleek contour kit, I'm just going to do a tiny bit of contouring underneath my cheekbones. This is just to give it some definition. Now I want to set everything while still maintaining some glow in my skin and also to bring the contour down a notch. I'm going to be using my Bloom Mineral Foundation. This is the Pure Mineral Powder Foundation and this is in the color Light. Now for a teeny tiny bit of blush, I am going in with the Sleek Blush and this is in the color Rose Gold. I'm going to apply this directly on top of the contour, staying close to the sides of my face. I don't want to go too close in the middle. I'm just going to line my lips and color them in with the pencil. And I'm going to do this all really lightly because I don't want too obvious a line. I want to kind of correct the shape of my lips a little bit. Now that that's done, I'm going in with my Illamask lipstick and this is in the color Obey. I'm just going to pick it up on my finger and kind of dab it onto my lips. So that is my finished Shin Mina inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe up above and like down below. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you next time. Bye!